Monti, all year round. And that's where the name comes from. Green Mountain, Monte Verde, because it's always green. Right. I mean, yeah. any cloud, any rain makes it always like this. Green, fresh, cool, nice. Great. Absolutely, right now we still have a beautiful weather because after November, which is, I think today is the 29th, a mm -hmm. couple of days from now, supposed to start getting very windy. I mean, we'll, be, we'll have winds of 80 kilometers an hour, maybe more, about 40, 50 miles an hour. Wow. So big branches fall down, big trees are falling mm -hmm. down. Now it's still perfect. It's not windy at all. It's very calm, but soon will be very, very, very windy. And it gets colder. You that's when we get- tours in November? Yes, yes, that's absolutely what we have more tourists. Right now, still very slow season. And that high season, you'll come up. But this time of the day, mm -hmm. two things. You won't find a guide, and you won't be able to get into the park mm -hmm. because they have a limit of people. Mm -hmm. Today, only about 35 people have been in the forest. Wow. But that time, we have 400 people wow. at this time of the day. So what they do, they close the park. When some people come out, some other people can go in. So you have to wait until 11 when most of the people come out for you to go in. Mm -hmm. So And that's from, uh, and that's the, from uh, November yeah. until May, wow. which is when parts of the United States and Canada start getting colder. So a lot of people come down yeah. to Costa Rica. Absolutely, this last day, ha I have seen some people from Canada already coming. Yeah, so Canadians, Canadians already coming. Yeah, they call them snowbirds, yeah. Yeah, so, they yeah. So when it gets too cold, they come down. And that's why we have the high season in Christmas time and mm -hmm. January and February by that time. Mm -hmm. um, this is what we call the forest floor. And then the middle and then the canopy, the top. And it's dense here, it's dense in the middle and it's dense on the top. That's why, uh, uh, first of all, we're not allowed to go off the trails anyways, but it's impossible also to do it. I mean, you can go a few meters, but soon there's no way to go through. It's so dense, so you have to turn around. There's a beautiful bird sound here. Mm -hmm. His name is a nightingale. You might have some nightingales in North America. There yeah. might be some yeah, species, so that's a type of nightingale. He's on the ground, hopping like a little rabbit somewhere back there. I don't see it right now, but he might be somewhere back here. Nightingale. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. He has beautiful sounds. Mm -hmm. I've said there's a lot of writing people that talks about the bird because the beautiful calls they make. See? <clears throat> One interesting, uh, very important thing to know also about here is that Monte Verde is also private. It's not a national park. In Costa Rica, right now, we have 32% of the country, more or less. Mm -hmm. It's protected by national parks. But Monte Verde is private, and some other places are private as well. But mm -hmm. most people think that Monte Verde is a national park. What's the difference? The difference is that the people that come here, the money that people pay, it's the money that use, we use to keep the trail in a good condition like this. We put this material. This is what we call plastic wood. This is recycled plastic. All those empty bottled water, all those plastic bags come back like this. Mm -hmm. About five years ago, the trails were made out by what we call galletas. Galleta means cookies. Mm -hmm. When a big tree falls down, they make slides. They put the slides on the trail, yeah, yeah. and then we walk on it. But what's the idea? If a tree falls down there, let's leave it there. It's going to rot. It's going to decompose. It's going to be part of the forest. Not just bring it here on trails just for us to walk. So now we use plastic or mm -hmm. other materials mm -hmm. and not wood anymore. Plastic doesn't last too long because yeah. it's pretty wet all year round. Yeah. It rots really fast. All the signs, for example, this sign here on the right, this sign on the left, are made of plastic. We cycle plastic. So we're going to go like, we're going to go up to the little waterfall here. We're going to come back here and we're going to make it back. This whole area here is only 3% of the whole park. The whole park is enormous, it's the whole big area around there. So this is what we call the impact area. This is where the tourists are. And then the rest is good for biologists, it's good for the wildlife mm -hmm. to stay out there without being interrupted by right. people or something like that. We have a hanging bridge here from Rocky Mountains in Canada all the way to Argentina. We have something that's called the Continental Divide, more or less water divide, Pacific and Atlantic side. So when it rains right there, the water have to decide which way to go. That's more or less Continental Divide. So later on, if you want it, you can take El Camino, going by the hanging bridge, all the way to the continent of the bike, come back like this, make a shortcut, and come back like that. I think they're working. 
after repairing the shelf, putting something like this. So they they have this part closed, but you can make it back like this. That will be that will be like an hour there, maybe another hour back. So mm. Two hours doing this round trip by yourself. Okay. Maybe a little shorter, maybe a little faster. It's, depends it's on a, how fast you want. It's a nice hang. It's going to hang a bridge. It's well, it's a nice uh, different perspective of the forest from the treetops. In Monteverde, we have some other places uh, that have a lot of hanging bridges. Mm -hmm. But here we have one gotcha. for those people that doesn't have time mm -hmm. or doesn't have opportunities to go to the other hanging bridges. Mm -hmm. So this is 100 meters long. Mm -hmm. 100 meters might be about, uh, what, close to 300 feet, something like that. Where else and is the hanging bridge on this map? You said there's other hanging bridges? No, and other, other parks. No, other parks, the okay. The only one in this park, it's this one here. Okay. The other ones are on a place called Selvatura Park, Skywalk, other, other areas. You have to go back to Santa Elena. And then uh, another way to wait to the Santa Elena Reserve is where they have these hanging bridges. Okay. Here's only one. And this park, only one. Okay. The little waterfall, the hanging bridge, and this viewpoint called La Ventana, where the Continental Divides are like the three main attractions to see things that you know is going to be there. Right. About wildlife, of course, we never know. Right. Anything can be anywhere. Right. This is naturally. So in every single intersection, there's a map like this that tells you where you are. Usted está aquí, you are here. And then uh, there are signs that says back to the information center or the name of the next trail. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty well marked. Yeah, right. It's really easy. Very. Uh, here we don't use the GPS. Pretty much what we use is this. Right, right. Or gotcha. these maps you have. I think they give you some maps as well. Yeah. So people doesn't get lost. Once people keep us on the trails, there's no way to yeah, get lost. Okay, right, exactly. the trails are very well marked. I mean, you can see right there. Right, perfect. So uh, that's the way it works here. Maybe in the future, people will have a tablet with a, or something yeah. with a GPS and they can move around it. So far, just the maps. And yeah, yeah. What we're doing to keeps actually... On the, to keeps get, on. Yeah. Like what we're doing is to get people here. Yeah.